Hello everyone, this is April, the artist behind Invoke Art Sins. Today I put out my gouache for a special green gold challenge uh, created by Dina Toffelson. Uh, I'll link her account in the link below. Uh, but this will be the green gold challenge today. I will use my gouache for that. And this will also be a mermaid Leviathan, um, Leviathan prompt. So I decided why not this, why not do two things in one? Uh, kill, uh, kill, I'm not sure the saying. Do they say, uh, wait, two stones in one? I can't remember. Two birds in one. Whatever it is, um, I'm going to do the both in one prompt. So this will be green gold. Uh, green gold and I will also be using my Windsor and Newton gold ink at the end in the background uh, So that's what I will be using. I mainly just want to focus on the green gold and gold and just maybe a little bit of flesh tone But I'm going to be using my rose color erase pencil that you see here to sketch it out first so and I I want well, I, I'm doing it long ways because I figured this this is a moleskin, so it's going to be too hard to do it um, portrait portrait uh, ways. So I have to do it landscape ways. So I'm going to have the mermaid kind of laying in the middle. She has to have a long tail. I want to keep my strokes nice and loose. Nothing too uh, hard yet, too definite yet. Just still getting my, defining my basic shapes. So, I do prefer sketching my sketches with color erase, uh, Prismacolor pencils. That is if I feel confident in like the shapes and I don't feel like I'm going to be erasing a lot because uh, the some of the colors are actually most of the colors of color erase pencils, they can leave uh, a ghosting of the line. So they are erasable but not completely. So. Sometimes I do use just a mechanical pencil or a pencil because I, if I feel like I, I will have more mistakes or I'm, I just will, I'm not sure about the drawing, I will use graphite instead. So I want to give a gold uh, background, so I put that circle behind her with the, the my my tape, and I this is probably I don't know my third or fourth gouache painting and I'm getting better at gouache but I'm definitely not like an expert at it so especially with skin tones um, and I didn't want to line this with microns I almost did but I just wanted more of a painterly feeling so and kind of I don't know a loose feeling so I I didn't want to have that harsh uh, line lining effect to her so I stuck to only like the natural like the lining I can give her with paint only and that was quite loosely so in the the, the moleskin sketchbook I'm using this is the first time I'm using gouache in this one um, I would say that my last sketchbook was better with gouache even though the last one was only 150 grams this one's supposed to be 165 um, I was it was seeming like the paper wasn't handling it at first but then I started to make my gouache consistency thicker instead of all watercolor uh, like thinness and yes and this this is supposed to be a mermaid that's a leviathan for prompt number day four for me 
from my own prompt list. If you're interested in finding my prompt list for Mermaid, I have it in my Instagram. You can just click the link and find me on Instagram and look at my prompt list if you would like to follow that. So and so she is like not in water, wind it a little bit different. So she could I guess a Leviathan is kind of a serpent in a way. So she kind of looks like a serpentine lady or a Leviathan lady. Either one you wanna choose and, and call her. And I, and I gave her kind of a creature-ish ears, not human-ish ears. I didn't give her creature's hands, but um, those hands were like suffering the whole time. And I, after this sketch, I probably should do a lot of hand studies, especially that one on the right is way too big, and her arm also is just like a stick. But later, I, I try to fix it a little bit. But yeah, just uh, just need, need a little bit more practice on hands. Uh, Hands are always the most difficult part of a drawing, especially a painting. So, and with her hair, uh, so the the green gold challenge is so she is mostly that green gold with the front of her having a gold yellow um, look on her uh, underbelly, and her hair is is mostly green but has a little bit of that green gold, and the underneath of that platform is green gold. So I mostly stuck with green gold except for solid gold behind her and the skin tone. So and I was I'm really happy with this still. You know, this is supposed to be just a sketch, nothing too serious. Um, but yeah, so practice makes perfect and I'll keep on painting with gouache and, and not not be uh, not not stress about it, but I am still happy with it. You know, I get, and you know, I'm happy with her face. And it's more of a painterly look, uh, even the skin tone. Um, if you have any tips about skin tones, you can always uh, leave a comment below and let me know. But otherwise, it's great. And then I went back and made that hand on the right smaller, and I gave more form to that right arm on the right. And that left hand is the arm's okay, but the hand itself was just either too small or just kind of wonky but it turned out okay not a big deal you know i don't want to spend too much time on these sketches or these paintings of uh, these challenge paintings because you know you can't do that because there's so many you have to do every day so and i'm almost done so thank you for watching and i'm see you for the next exciting video I will have more mermaid challenges coming soon. Goodbye everyone.